Hey there, Icarus here, and welcome to yet another compilation of every class in Bring Your Own Class. A series that will potentially go on so long that they'll release new classes and I'll never be able to stop. In any case, let's kick things off here with Quote. This is a character originating from Cave Story, a game that is now 20 years old. Yep. In any case, the gameplay here follows in a pretty similar footstep to that of Cave Story itself. The more you shoot enemies, the more these little bits spill out, the more bits you collect, the higher your weapon level gets, maxing out at the tail end of level 3. Makes for an interesting dynamic during the course of combat because taking hits will actively decrease your total level. That and swapping between weapons starts them by default at level 1. So yeah, they're gonna start weak, but it's well worth building them up to the top. The bubble gun, for example, is terrible at level 1, but at level 3, you can produce this just ever-present shield that damages any enemies that uh, get too close to you. But yeah, pretty fun and mechanically interesting to play with. Next up on Bring Your Own Class, we have an Ubisoft original in the form of Rayman. How do his limbs work? In comparison to most, Rayman here is actually pretty straightforward. By default, you get access to the fists, but after that, it's a whole rogues gallery of interesting creations. You've got a slot 1 throwable orb which can ricochet off walls, you've got a plunge gun, you've got some kind of sentient mosquito, you've got what looks like a homing rocket pencil on legs which, believe it or not, you can indeed ride, a set of gloves that can either empower you to shoot tornadoes or electricity respectively, an explosive fruit, and then there's this thing which when active will apparently grant you a buff across your weaponry for a short duration of time. That said, a fair chunk of these weapons here can be held to charge, allowing them to produce a much more devastating attack, topping out, in my opinion, with the charge attack of the electric gloves. You just don't mess with Rayman. As we play through every class and bring your own class, we ask the question, who the heck is Sir Daniel Fortescue? And the answer would be, well, of course, he's the protagonist of PS1 classic Medieval. Naturally, the main quirk to mention is he is a resurrected skeleton knight, and as it happens, he's real good at flinging around a sword. So good, in fact, that the alt fire on this lets you do a big ol' sick-ass spin. You can find an upgraded version of the sword, which allows you to enchant it on top of spinning. You got the club, which by default is devastating enough, but it also shoots fire. The auto crossbow, which is pretty decent standard, but can also be fired gangster style for increased fire rate. A surprisingly powerful bow and arrow with a flame shot alt, a lightning bolt, a severed arm, and chicken drumsticks. Those have the effect of transforming enemies into roast chicken, which you can then eat. Oh, and if you collect enough souls, you get an increase in damage reduction. And those souls can then be used with the chalice, because why the heck not? This next one on Bring Your Own Class is going to be fun for anyone familiar with Nuclear Throne, mainly because I personally know nothing about Nuclear Throne. Say hello to Young Venus, a triangle that sounds like a rapper that all the kids are listening to these days with the hippity hobs. If we're gonna boil this class down to its main gimmick, it'll be that practically every weapon here in the arsenal can be double fired. That being two shots at the same time, as opposed to two guns akimbo. Either way, fan of the aesthetic, love the cartoony, chunky style accentuated cell shading around the weapons, and as for the weapons themselves, big fan of the incinerator. It's got that DACA to it. Loves me the grenade shotgun, and I appreciate that the crossbow can be swapped out for a crossbow that's even more crossbow than the last crossbow. The super plasma cannon is badass as befitting of something in the BFG slot, and as for the energy hammer here, I'm just not entirely sure I was using it properly. Never really seemed to deliver the thwack I was expecting. And for those of you saying I should just read the manual, wait what, there's a manual? Welcome back to BYOC, and oh boy, it's time to get demonetized because it's postal, dude. Just to get it out of the way, yes, you can in fact piss on your enemies. Uh, no, it is not lethal. That, or it takes an extremely long time for them to drown. And in terms of the coolest thing in this mod, you can in fact ask a demon to sign a petition, which will then have the effect of making them an ally. Weaponry-wise, you can give pinkies a concussion with the shovel, you can put holes in people with the desert eagle, you got the auto shotty, you got the quad shotty, also known as the fornicator. Haha, <laughs> get it? After that, you got the Holy Hand Grenade Launcher, which has a pretty effective primary that detonates on impact, and a secondary, which looks pretty cool when it goes off, but it's actually kind of a pain to keep enemies near enough to deal damage with it. Nate Palm Launcher does exactly what it says on the tin. Primary will leave a burning pool on impact, whereas the secondary will see that sucker bounce all over the shop. Very good for taking out crowds, but you want to stand clear because it will damage you too. Hey, would you like to sign my petition? I mean, failing that, you could always like, comment, and subscribe, and even better, 
Join my Patreon, where from one dollar you can join this esteemed list of names, gain occasional early access to videos, and of course, be blessed by my eternal, undying gratitude. See you next week if you don't bother watching the shorts, and uh, yeah, peace.